Hi, my name is Sanga Lindsay. I'm a landscape architect here in North Vancouver. It's early April, a nice sunny day, and I'm standing um, next to one of our dwarf cherry trees. As you can see, we uh, pruned it up last year, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about pruning cherry trees. Uh, this is a great example of one. It's full of nice cherry blossoms, actually, or blossoms that are just going to come out. Uh, the thing about cherry trees is they tend to fruit, or they do fruit, on older wood. So there's an example of the buds, the flower buds. As you can see, they're these short, little knobby, they call them spurs. And this is where the flowers are going to come out of. And if you can just take a look here, they're actually along the branches as well. So that's where you get these branches will be totally covered in flowers very soon. The fruiting spurs develop on older wood. So that's a key thing when you're talking about cherry trees and pruning is you don't want to over prune a cherry tree because you want to keep the old wood because that's where your fruit's going to actually eventually develop from. Actually in the first, uh, after the first, second or third year, we'll constantly get buds on these branches. So when you do prune a cherry tree, you want to have a light hand because every time you make a cut, you just have to be cognizant that what will happen is when you cut, say, here, you'll stimulate side lateral branches to come out and that will be vegetative growth or leaves as opposed to uh, developing spurs, which will be two or three years down the, the line as those shoots develop and mature. So you want to have a light hand and you want to do minimal. The thing you want to look for is the structure of the tree itself, and this is why I'm pointing out this tree. Uh, it's a nice open vase-shaped structure, so lots of air circulation. So the thing that you want to do, for example, is just look for branches that might be growing into the crown. Say, for example, this one. I will probably prune this out now. Now I will lose a few cherries because I do have the spurs on this older wood, this two-year-old wood. But what it'll do is it'll stop all this inner growth from congesting the middle of the crown and that's something that you don't want to happen because that's when diseases and pests will start to infiltrate into the tree because it becomes a moist, heavy, dense environment. Cherry leaves are very broad, thick, and by the end of the summer you won't even recognize this tree. It'll just be one big leafy mop. So, a couple of tips to recap is you want to prune your cherry trees very lightly. You just want to have it with an open form, good structure. If the tree does get too large, this is a dwarf tree, it'll top out at about this height. You could actually, for example, top off here so that you keep the tree within um, a certain distance from the ground or from your reach of your ladder. But you don't want to start cutting on the lower levels, you want to let these older branches develop because that's where your cherries are going to be and that's where your fruiting spurs are going to develop. My name is Senga Lindsay. Hope you learned something today. I'm a landscape architect here in North Vancouver and if you want any more information about pruning uh, fruit trees, we raise beehives, we grow vegetables or anything else that's going on in the garden, please vis visit my website at www.sengadesigns.com. Thanks for watching.